Colin from JTS here. We've just done something very exciting. We've done our full van build. This includes insulation, sound deadening, walls, ceiling, windows. We've done a roof fan. We've also done all the lighting, all the wiring, a full power system, floors, cupboards, drawers, you name it. From start to finish, we've done a lot. So I give to you our first van build. So this is it, it's a Mercedes Sprinter, it's a two-seater with a walk-through, we put in an enormous bed size and it pulls out to a full queen-size bed, so loads of comfort in there and easy sleeping. Because the vans are a good width, you also get these pockets down the side, so these are quite deep, great for clothes and things like that. We've got shelving, we've put in an overhead cupboard. So it's all beautifully built in there with some lighting just to give it a bit of ambience. Uh, ready for a TV. We've got the full kitchen set up in here. We have a Bushman's 85 litre fridge. Fantastic unit, really light on the power. We've got a full sink unit with chopping board built in. Pull out as you like. You know, you do a lot of dishes when you're living in these vans. Um, the window set up with um, shades and fly screen for a little bit extra bench space. We have a pull up table. So you've got loads of bench space to work with when you're doing uh, your dinners and things like that. In behind the passenger seat is where the power system is. So we'll have a quick squeeze through that and then I'll take you to the other special features. Righto, so in under the passenger's chair, we've been able to squeeze in. 310 amps of lithium power. We also have a DC-DC from Victron. We have an MPPT solar controller from Victron and we're running four 160 watt panels up on the roof. So there's loads of recharge time and we're finding we're getting about five to six hours and it's got full charge from the next day. That's running the two fridges and a bit of inverted juice. We've also got all the fusing down through here and the main fuses for the inverter. Now we're running a 2000 multi plus two. So that's 2000 watts of inverted power and charging as well. And that's hidden down in the back section there. Uh, we've also padded out the back of the cupboard a little bit so that from the front, it still looks like a vehicle cab rather than, you know, you've got the, all your camping stuff on, on view. Fire extinguisher, of course, as that's required for the regulatory plating which we've organized for this van so it's then insurable as a motorhome. For those of us wanting to go free camping you need to have your loo. You need to be set up so that you're self-sufficient and nothing gets dumped on the ground and that's particularly important. So we've set up in here a toilet and the idea is it pulls out and you can sit on it and use it and then slide it back in. So the door handle actually comes up and that's your end wall that sits down at the end. So here. If you'll excuse me, it's a little bit rattly. So the toilet sits in there, you do your business, you close it all up, and you're away. On the side of the van, in Australia we like to eat outdoors and cook outdoors, so what we've done is we've set up a little extra kitchen area. So this is where the drinks are gonna be stored, little drawer fridge, and in behind here, a nice working bench so that you can get all your stuff done outdoors. You could have a little barbecue set up or something. And also in behind this little section is where the customer's gonna store their in, uh, induction cooker and things like that so that they can plug into power, they can cook all their stuff and they're all nicely outdoors. Over the top of this area, we put in a Fiamma awning and that's just the nice simple wind in, wind out. It can be done by one person, it's so easy. Just in this side of the van here is where we've got our display panel. 
and just the simple things you really want to see. So we've got our Victron gauge, that also has Bluetooth, so that's giving them their battery percent, their amps in, their total wattage. That sort of information is vital when you're trying to camp off grid. We've also got two tanks, so fresh water and grey water, also vital for off grid. We've got a hot water system, and that's a 12 volt hot water system, so it's very, very good for off grid. You turn it on sort of 20 minutes before you get to camp, it heats the water up to 50 or 60 degrees, whatever you set it at, just a beautiful system. The lights are also on dimmer, and then we've got a few switches, so we've got step lights and pump and those sort of things. Down the bottom, just some basic sockets, our usual 12 volt, and USB and USB-C. 240 units are down here, and as I said, the whole 240 unit has been set up and certified by a 240 electrician. In the back of the van is the garage area, as they like to be called. So we've squeezed in there the Duetto Mark II hot water system. As I said, this is a brilliant 12 volt unit. The master switch for that's just here. And the reason for that is so you don't want it running all the time. It, it can chew a little bit of juice. So you've got to come back here and purposely turn it on, make sure your temperature's right, and away you go. You also have a 240 switch for that. So if this ever plugs into mains at a uh, campground or something like that, they can plug in up here and run the Duetto the full time. No worries at all. We also have a full length storage cupboard, which you could possibly fit a surfboard in or something like that if you want, or a, a gazebo, whatever you need. And then we've got two massive storage drawers, and these are 1200 long, fully carpeted um, and made from aluminium. So good and strong, and they're going to live up to whatever you chuck in here, you know. Down the other side is just your basic storage. We've got our 240 uh, breakers in there and also tucked in up there is the Multi Plus 2 from Victron. I hope you enjoyed the quick tour through this van. Being our first full build, we're so excited to bring it to market and we just want people to comment, talk down below and if you're looking for something to be done like this, we've got a few slots ready for next year. So please give us a call, come and have a discussion and we can set up exactly what you want in your van rather than having to live with a cookie cutter set up from other places.